pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The uh, secretary perform roll call attendance, please. Here. Here. I am here. 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 Okay. Um, all the board members have received the minutes from the October 18th meeting. Uh, entertain a motion to accept the minutes. So move. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Our first item on the agenda this evening is public hearing regarding Global Business Park Subdivision and Central Duchess, Central Duchess Industrial Center Site Plan. Oh, sorry. We need to, uh, yeah. Is that good? Yep, that's good. Just one more thing before we go forward here. We just uh, need a motion to open the public hearing. I'll move that. Okay. Second. Motion's made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Sorry about that. Go. Go ahead. All right. For the record, I'm Bill Polgal, engineer for the African Global Satellite LLC. Um, I'm here tonight um, with a subdivision application and a site plan plan application for a 115-acre parcel, which is located at the end of Airport Drive. Um, may I ask I can show up? Um, what we have colored up is the entire parcel. Uh, the green area is the buildable area. Um, and then the blue area is uh, DEC wetlands and Army Corps wetlands. Um, so with the subdivision, we're proposing to extend Airport Drive into this parcel across the stream in the wetland area to provide access to the more than 50 acres of usable land on the parcel. And with that, we're creating two lots. Lot one, uh, which we've submitted a site plan application on, as well as uh, lot two, which would be the balance of the site. Um, and lot one is 20.09 acres as proposed, and that that occupies this portion of the property. And if you look and at the map, it's going straight out from where the road extends to the left. <coughs> um, so that's that's a summary of what we're proposing with the subdivision. Okay. Um, so regarding the subdivision, does everybody have a Questions regarding that. Okay. You're All not right. proposing any structures on this, just splitting it into two parcels? Uh, we are proposing structures on this area, which is going to be lot one, and that's part of the. Um, this is structures that you showed us a while ago? Were you the one that? Yes. Okay. Um, do you want me to talk about that now, or I don't know? Well, now you might as well, yeah, go, we'll so go into that, and then we'll both? open. Did you open it for both? Yeah, for yeah. both. Yeah. Okay. All right, so then that'll lead me into the site plan.
the staircase that goes down to the rail trail, right? Yes, the south the back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the back side of the property. So the area I've highlighted on this plan is what would be the lot one with the subdivision. Um, so here, this is the area where the road would be extended uh, with the cul de sac, and then off to the left there would be a driveway. Proposing four smaller size buildings, um, and they're set up to um, be leased out to contracting type businesses, elect electricians, plumbers, those types of. Uh, businesses, um, and that's um, in conformance with the AI zone. So it's a permitted use that we're proposing. Um, with the site plan, we'll have parking and um, on one side, which would be the front of each building, and then the back would be garage doors uh, for the contractors <coughs> for storage of their materials um, and so forth. Uh, with the plan, we're not proposing any outdoor storage of any heavy equipment or um, bulk materials or anything of that nature. Um, and then with this plan, um, we've set the buildings closer to the center of the parcel, providing a uh, buffer between that and the rail trail, which is located on the, um, the east side of the site. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. Any of the board members have any question regarding the site plan? Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's, um, before we open up to the <coughs> floor to the public, um, I guess the there was some question regarding the DEC. Have you? Had any response from them? Uh, we had a uh, pre-application meeting with DEC back in February. Um, and then following the last meeting, uh, we had put together a complete, you know, complete application to make a formal submission. Um, at that time, I was unaware of a letter that they generated back in the um, spring of last year. So there's some items in there that I'm in the process of putting together. I don't want to make a submission leaving anything out. Um, and we're in the process of working with somebody to analyze the uh, floodplain impacts of put, extending the road across the stream. Um, that's something they asked for. Okay. All right. Uh, one question. Um, the cul-de-sac, that's basically for access for the future to lock two, right? Correct. Um, that's going to be big enough for like emergency vehicles yep. or anything yeah. to turn around in. Right. Following the initial submission, we increase the size um, to match the existing cul de sac that's out there now because this is a commercial road. Yeah, it's a wide road. So it's a wide road and it has a larger cul de sac. So okay. uh, that's what this plan represents. It, it looks kind of small in the plan because it's such a big <laughs> parcel. Um, but yes. Cool. Okay. All right. Does staff have any questions? Okay. No, not at this time. We had a comment letter uh, October October first, which you know Bill will be uh, addressing in, in prior future to the submission. So this is just you know the public hearing. See if there's any public comment. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So at this time, uh, I'll open up the floor for any public comment. Uh, anybody that wishes to speak. Um, there has any concerns regarding the Global Business Park subdivision or the Central Industrious Industrial Center site plan. Okay. Seeing none, um, I guess uh, nobody has any questions, and I guess we'll probably have to look to uh, adjourn to a future date. Um, I think we're still looking for some information regarding the uh, um, from the DEC before we can. Um, I would say if we can push it out, maybe like three months at this point, and then I can come in and update the board if that, okay. if that works. Yeah, that, make, that probably makes sense. What January? 
So January. Well, I'm even think, thinking maybe like you, February. Thinking maybe February. Meeting in February. Yeah. February. One meeting in February, so it'll be February the seventh. I, I don't. I don't really think I'm going to hear much back before February, March at the earliest from DEC. So. March the seventh. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So. Um, Entertain a motion to adjourn the public hearing to March the 7th of 2020. Second. Motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay, so we'll hear back from you in March. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Thanks. All right, our next item on the agenda this evening is discussion regarding Dutchess County Casa Italiana. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> so, um, last we met was last meeting. Um, we had a public hearing. No. We yeah. got the public hearing waived. We, yeah. we waived the public hearing. We waived the public yeah. hearing, I'm correct. So um, we're in, in a kind of point now where I'm in receipt of a um, um, draft, or a draft resolution of approval. Yep. Um, most of the items on here are pretty straightforward. I did have one question, though, on item E um, under number two. There's a call for. Um, Amending park the parking spaces. The, the problem that we have there is we only have 60 feet to work with. Yeah, I was worried that you would not be able to right. to make that length. Um, if you don't think that you'll be able to make that length, uh, the other possibility is to put two spaces there and just show a land bank space because you've got gravel, you've got overflow parking. We're not right. worried about the parking. So if it's a, a matter of meeting your parking calculations, I would say the easiest solution would be put two parallel spaces there and show a land bank space and we can amend the, the resolution and adopt that resolution as amended. Okay, um, that's certainly one option. That's one option, do you have a, an alternative? I, I offer another option. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, they're, they're for a standard car and you've seen it before at other places. Is there any way we can actually designate those spots as, as compact cars only? Um, in that manner then it would tighten up the things you wouldn't have people showing up in their El Dorados and so forth, parking in that spot, yeah. and they can get in and out of them. Um, is that a possibility? How do you police that? Sign that? Huh? How, How do you sign? Like, police yeah. that? You have to put up signs and... Signs like handicap spots. Yeah. I don't know the... I don't know the compact provision in the code as well as I should. Do you, Barbara? I'm looking it up right now. I think it's like 20%. Let me just see if I can get that. Yeah, I've only heard about them done in the, the shopping center zone. Um, but if that's a possibility, that is an alternative, yeah. Yeah, rather than... How big are they the parking spaces? The parking spaces are 18 in length. The end spaces can be 20, but the middle one, when you're blocked in, should be 22. So they got to make up 8 feet, which, given the other things in the back there, is, is <coughs> maybe not doable. Yeah. I'll mark my Center. We don't have, right now, the way we did it, there are three parking spaces marked out there, 18 feet each, mm -hmm. which takes up the entire, there's a cement pad on one side, and then there's a cement pad for the excess exit from the uh, dining area. Mm -hmm. So we don't have 62 feet to, to accommodate three spaces as laid out in, in the resolution. I mean, ultimately, if, if necessary, we can leave the two and mark out the, the middle spot um, or go to compact parking. Mm -hmm. Quite honestly, the first three guys that get there for any one of our events is myself, the president, and our chef. Mm -hmm. We take those three spots. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably the last so, to leave. And, and we're the last to leave. Yeah. So. Um, how does compact parking look? Yeah. I know we added something recently to the code. Let's see if it's 
Yeah, I mean, if and it's... And then the resolution in such a way that will provide the compact car notation, and if the code for some reason doesn't allow it, then we can do what we got to do. I mean, there's, go. there's a ton yeah. of excess yeah. parking in the back. Right. Really, Thank I just you. have to show a square. <laughs> Pretty much. So all you got to do is draw a box on you know the know plan I mean? and What's say, okay... What's the total number of parking that you have? No, in the, the, for the whole lot. Not including the gravel overflow, right? Your parking calculations call yeah. for 30 yeah. something, right? I didn't, I didn't show that, so that's 25. Yeah. So the, the provision in the code for compact parking kicks in with parking lots having over 50 spaces. So I don't know that that would apply here. Um, Can't we waive that, though? Da, 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 da. And give them the compact parking spaces? There isn't a provision in here for them to waive it. Might not be able to in that case. But it's not something that the planning board can waive. So what's the point? Just land bank in the backside. Well, I mean that's a that's a reasonable option. I think that'd be the easiest option without seeking a variance um, to land bank do in they one still, space. Do they still have to change the three spots? Can't they? Are we just going to allow them to land bank for those? Well, they can keep two spots there. Right. Don't mark. Um, They'll just mark out the two spots on the back of the building, and then they'll have a, you know, they'll have a, a land bank space, you know, up further up on the property, you know, basically, you know, for future if it has to be developed. Yeah. <coughs> Which it probably That's, wouldn't because you yeah. have the gravel gravel parking yeah. lot for overflow. Right. It is so I don't yeah. see, I don't see a future in which you would need to develop that land bank parking space. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Okay. So I'll amend that resolution. So you'll amend that to, to reflect two parking spaces plus show location of one land bank. Yeah. All right. Okay. So that would be the, that's the only item that needed to be addressed? Okay. So if that's the only... All stuff that they're going to do. That's all squared away. Could we, um, I mean, at some point the site plan is going to be over. We still have to get a review from the town consultants and planner, and they have to get paid. So, um, could we just know, I don't know if it's through you, Barbara, just in terms of where things stand relative to the escrow? Yeah, we can let you know right. tomorrow. Right. Then we can get an escrow. Okay. Al, did you have a question today? You asked us to bring one of the maps with us. Uh, I was concerned about the location of the parking as it applied to the uh, original site plan that had been approved by the other right. but it's just been resolved. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, all right, so if everything else is good with it, just one amendment. Um, I entertain a motion to approve the resolution I'll make that as amended. Motion. I'll second that. Motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Great. Thank you, folks. Thank okay, you folks. you're welcome. Have a good evening. Okay. Um, our next item on the agenda this evening is a uh, special use permit for uh, stage door self storage amended site plan. square foot building that exists on the corner of Route 9 um, here, Old Route 9, the stage door road, a building that's been vacant for quite some time. Um, we're back looking for reapproval of a site plan that we got approved five years ago. Um, uh, 
this is we're proposing the same plan for internal self storage units. Um, this never got built out the first time because the person that was interested in, in working with us on this uh, that, that fell through. Okay. Um, so the site plan expired, and now we're back here again, um, looking to get the plan reapproved. Um, with this plan, we would be upgrading. There's a gravel driveway in the back. That was the old access for loading um, when it was the furniture place. So that's where the trucks pulled in. Uh, so with this plan, uh, the changes that we're proposing is to upgrade that, that road going in and providing better access to the back of the building with some minimal parking. Uh, and that's it's highlighted in the shaded area. And that's that, that entrance would be maintained uh, through the existing entrance on Stage Door Road. Okay. Um, no outdoor storage there, right? No. All right. You did receive the letter from the planner? I did. Okay. Um, they said a, a couple of items um, that are kind of brought up. I guess the Back in 2017, 2018, when we uh, reviewed this the last time, I guess it was prior to all the, the issues with the LED lighting. Um, I don't think that we had a, a submittal back then for anything specific. Um, you know, he's making a recommendation to maintain the 3,000 uh, Kelvin or less for the color temperature. That's um, not a problem. Okay. Um, the other Plan two was landscaping. I guess there wasn't much of a, um, really wasn't much, I guess, provided for the landscaping. Uh, is it something that would possibly could be maybe addressed a little better? Uh, what would you be looking for? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a. It's not the corner there. Yeah. Yeah. I think what they're looking for is something to something to enhance the corner of uh, frontage along Route 9 and, and the corner at 9D. Um, nothing major, but a few trees, a few bushes. So, so yeah, we'll, we would be we'd be repainting and fixing up the outside. What color are you going to paint it? A simi <laughs> similar color that. How about it is you now. show us and let us pick? What color you want? <laughs> Show us some colors. Let's pick because the way it is right now, it's really it's it's like a faded it's a plain yellow. Jane, you yeah, know, and like yeah, Barbara like said earlier, yeah. that You'd is an entrance way to the town of Wappinger, so it would be nice to have it look nice. What kind of siding is on there? Now? It's a metal siding. Metal siding. Metal but there's metal one metal. section over toward the end there. It's like texture 111 or something that really needs to be addressed. Yep. So on the Route 9 side, it would look nice if you could fix that up. Yeah, the intention would be, a, I could tell you, it would be a tan. Like a beige, so I can. You'll show I, I can. I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of that and maybe do something with that T one eleven piece over there, because that's pretty much an eyesore. Okay. <coughs> okay. It'd be nice to have the building look nice, especially on those two corners. What did you say? A faded yellow or something? Right now, it's like a faded yellow. I like, yeah. well, I like um, the idea of that. I think darker is going to hurt hurt it. No, it's not no. It's going to be more of a beige. Yeah. Yeah, neutral. Yeah. Yeah, like it's a similar neutral to color. your signs. Yeah. Background on your sign. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, I think it's, I mean, it sounds like the board wants it a little bit more just to, to just address the couple of items. And I think if, you know, being that it's in the entrance to the community, um, they're looking for a little bit more just first thing is to clean so you it. dress it up yeah, yeah. it's the yeah it's one of the first one of the first buildings that you're hitting when you're entering so um this i think it sounds like everybody's looking for more you know something to make it stand out a little bit or at least make it look a little better than what it does today okay um 
So, I mean, if you could bring that back into us, I think that something of what's being proposed, we can look at it and then go from there. I think that's probably the best option okay. at this point. Um, is that something I'm really trying to move? You want to move it along. Is it something that I can be put on the next meeting and bring it to the meeting, the colors, or? Yeah. I think yeah, I don't. That, it would have to be a yeah, I don't see why not. It's. I mean, it's really. It's more of an architectural review end of it at this point. Well, we need a basic it's, uh, uh, landscape plan or something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or at least yeah, the location. Color rendering with the landscape. Yeah, we're just looking to clean it up. Right. Clean and I can, like, I can bring that to the next meeting. But if I got to do like a full submittal, no. it would push it no. off into December. I think we just need a just. We just need a couple of things to show us what you're proposing to do as an amendment to the existing plan. You know, no sense in redoing the entire plan. It's already been approved. Well, I think the board's just looking for more, you know, just some aesthetical upgrades to the building, you know, so it, it looks a little nicer from, from Route 9. If, um, if I think if we can get that, I don't... Um, Oh, type all right. Yeah. Which, which, sorry. Meeting? We were talking. Yeah. We were just talking, Bruce. We were just talking about. Okay. Uh, because this is a reapproval of a site plan. It went to the county. Oh, it did oh, go yes, to the county. Yes, it's a matter of local concern. Good. But yeah. what I would ask you, Bill, since you're going to be able to bring it on the 15th, if you could PDF it to be maybe that Thursday or Friday. So she could get it to the board. Yeah, a little bit. It will maybe. help you if they have a chance to look at it. I on can. Their own. I can actually. I was just. I just asked B. I didn't realize the meetings, uh, December sixth. So I, I think I can make a submission in because that that meeting would work for me. Okay. But that's the and last meeting. You wouldn't get an approval then until January. Oh, okay. But the fifteenth, if you could rush it a little. Yeah. yeah. If the board was so inclined to like what you provided, yeah. you still have one more meeting. I guess. Yeah, if it, like I said, it's not the entire plan we're looking for. We're just looking for, you know, yeah, I'll some. I'll do a, an elevation page, and then I'll add landscaping and color it up to show yeah. the board, and yeah. we'll go from there. Yeah. Yeah. And correct the yeah. texture area. Yeah. But the paint color, you should probably bring some kind of like chips, because you know, obviously, yeah. whatever you put on the drawing is not sure. like, exact. I'll do that. Sure. Okay. They could on the 15th if they like what they see. <coughs> well, no, I would, I would prefer to come on the 15th, 15th but the 6th right, would so. work. Yes. Do we yeah. need to um, hold or waive the public hearing? That's up to the board. Uh, we should schedule or waive the public hearing. To get, oh, we have to. Okay. Well, I mean, we've already had a public hearing on this project previously. Back in 17, yeah. Um, again, nothing is significantly going to change on the thing. I mean, what's everybody's feeling? Wave I, think wave I think wave it because I think wave it. Okay. So wave somebody it. make a motion to wave I'll the public I'll make the motion. I'll second. Okay. So a motion and a second been made to wave the public hearing. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. So the motion carries. Um, so that takes care of that item. Um, all right. So, I mean, if you could get us the submittal, I mean, on, the, on these couple of things, I think we can move it. Okay. Um, we could probably move this along. Now, do we have to have a new resolution written or? Well, we don't have a resolution yet. Right. I'm just saying, though, is it something? So we're yeah. still going to have to wait till the next meeting to, to authorize to prepare the resolution? Right. Okay. Right. We'd want to see... I think you Before we see, see what the see what it right it's being proposed. Can't yeah, we on just December six? Give them the, the approval with the amended uh, on the on our opinion of the drawing. Well, if he comes on the fifteenth, then you're you like what you see. You could authorize the resolution for December six, and yeah. he could be done then. That's pretty quick. Okay. So we could do it that way. All right. So if you get yeah if you get us something. And again, just showing us, you know, the, the exterior, um, just sprucing the building up a little bit and, um, you know, something with the landscape. Um, and if we can get it, like I said, ahead of the meeting, we can review it. Hopefully at that point, um, we can move forward from there. Okay. Okay? Yep. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Have a good night. <coughs>
Okay. Um, all right. Our next item on the agenda this evening is Price Ground Mounted Solar Panel Edition. Uh, can you pull the microphone closer to you so I can hear you? All right, thank you. So what this is is a six-panel addition to a pre-existing ground mount that Infinity Energy installed of December of last year. The homeowner wants to make the system bigger, so okay. we're here asking for that. All right. Um, okay, just so you made a submission today with some items. Um, Really haven't had a real chance to look over, but um, just with the addition of the solar panels, um, you know, to this array, uh, it's probably going to be a requirement to get a variance from the Zoning Board of Appeals uh, due to the now it's going to exceed the 50% um, uh, of the square footage of the home currently. Um. It's not. The home is 2,125 feet. Uh, the footprint of the home. Oh, so okay. it's based upon the footprint. Got it. So it's not the overall. Yeah. So uh, so that would have to be addressed um, with the zoning board. <clears throat> Are they just adding like two racks on the end two, of it? Mm -hmm. Two columns, three high. Going on the like end. toward the house or toward the other way? Uh, it's kind of. Uh, do you have a copy of the plans? Um, yeah, it's it's well, going the other way. Yeah. Well, if you look, it's in the backyard, and it's kind of going horizontal the other way, to the house, toward the, toward the, house. the well. Okay. Does it? It's hard to tell from the picture. Does it go past the sort of the? If my question is um, <coughs> side lot line requirement is for the house. Is this going to be closer to the lot line than the house is? No. Okay. Is this going to require a public meeting, too? Yes, this will also require a public hearing again. Not because of the size. Um, again, gives the uh, the neighbors opportunity uh, to speak if, if they do have any concerns. Um, Did, um, okay, Malcolm, you've got, other than this submission, you've got uh, what was originally submitted is adequate? I believe so. Um, and we've got our response from the DEC. There's no issue there. So. Right. Okay. All right. And then, Pete, it was pretty straightforward. Yeah, we don't have anything. Okay. All right. Um, so I guess at this point, it'd be just for us to schedule a public hearing. Um, when, when would be the first available time be for a... Uh, okay, we have enough time for November for the second meeting. Okay. So if that works for you, we can go ahead and... So, entertain a motion to schedule a public hearing for I'll this make project that motion. for November the 15th. A second. Motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Motion carries. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, condition now could be a final condition. What is it? Was, um, she's reading through the uh, what was submitted today. I just want to make sure that it takes place between October 16th and April 14th. Okay. To mm -hmm. Make sure the turtles, the whole thing is not. Right. Yeah, that would be a condition per the DEC. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. All right. What was that? Yeah. Yeah. We're. Right, no other questions for the applicant? No. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, okay. 
All right. So, uh, our next item on the agenda is Torres ground mounted solar panels. How you doing, members? The uh, homeowner wasn't available to be here tonight, so I'm here and hope to help represent him. My name's Ben Potaker from Plug PV. Okay. Um, how you doing? Uh, so, I guess we got your your most recent submittal today, I guess, which um, I believe addresses, some, uh, I guess, one of the outstanding concerns. Um, but again, we, you know, in this um, application, we have to schedule a public hearing yep. uh, to allow the public to, um, uh, any of the neighbors have any concerns. Um, you know, we want to hear what they, you know, if they have anything to say, we'd like to hear it before we give a final approval. Sure. Do you um, guys uh, send out the um, certified letters, or is that incumbent no. on No. You got everything there for me to send? Okay. Yep. So, um, uh, so at this point, we go ahead and schedule the public hearing, um, and then that will get you that much closer to getting a final approval uh, at this point. So the earliest date to schedule public hearing would be uh, November the 15th. Okay. If that's that works yeah. for your schedule. Yeah, okay. okay. Gives us time to get the letters out to... Okay. Okay. All right, so we'll be back on the 15th. Um, was there any questions you had regarding the stuff that we submitted? Uh, no, I don't think so, right? Think so. Well, staff is good with what's been submitted so far. I believe the square footage issue was resolved previously, and what was submitted resolves the side setback um, questions. So okay. all of those questions have been resolved. Um, and if, if the board is, is willing, you can, you can authorize me to prepare the resolution for their meeting. Okay. I, I just got one quick question. This shows this panel here. Um, is, there dis is this wetlands, this blue area? So yeah, what's the diff distance from the edge of the wetlands to the solar panels have to be? Th that's the buffer? That's the 100-foot buffer, I believe, is probably what you're looking at? The blue no, is the, 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 no. the blue is the blue, blue is, is a New flood zone. New York State. Flood plane. Plane. Flood that's plane. a flood plane. So Correct. the green is the the green. Wetland. The green is the wetland. So area. you need a 100-foot buffer from the green. <coughs> Correct. This is the flood plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was. I mean, the maps are a little hard to see. So the blue, the, the solid blue is the flood zone. And the green is Army Corps, so he's showing how far he is. Okay. Yeah, he's a. I wasn't sure because this is a tough map to look at. It'll, yeah, a lot, a lot of things on that map. Right. When they yeah, when they blew it up, it kind of distorts it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So public hearing. And okay. So all right. So we didn't do we. All right. So we um, need to vote uh, to authorize. Need a motion to authorize the public hearing for November the fifteenth. So moved. Okay, motion's been made. Second. We have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Okay. Motion carries. All right. So with that, um, how does the board feel about having the planner prepare a resolution uh, of approval? Yes, plan. I see. Okay. No, no problem. Make, so we get a motion to I'll authorize the, motion. the planner. Okay. Uh, we have a second. A second. Okay, motion's made. Second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Seeing none, motion carries. So, after the public hearing uh, at the next meeting, uh, assuming there's nothing that needs to be addressed by the public, um, we can vote on the <coughs> resolution, um, which the planner will prepare, and you'll be given a copy prior to the next meeting so you could review it uh, in case you have any questions when we, uh, um, yeah, when we meet at that next meeting. Okay, so assuming assuming everything's good at that point, um, you know we don't have to. There's no other open-ended items that need to be addressed by any of the neighbors. Uh, we should be like again. You should be in a position to getting your approval, and then you can move on to getting your permit for the install. Gotcha. Uh, do we have to go in front of the zoning board? No, 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 not in this case. Only because you're. Um, the size of the array that you're putting up is less than, it's 50% or less than the square footage of the footprint of the home. Yep. Okay. No, I know, yeah. Well, the other, the other application prior, they're, 
you know, they were at less than 50, and now they, they by adding, they're going to put themselves over. So they, they need to go to the zoning board. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they would have to go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So seeing that's all done with here, our last item, we have a uh, one miscellaneous item on the agenda. Everybody received the, the uh, proposed schedule for the 2022 uh, planning board meetings. Um, assuming uh, there's no questions or concern, uh, entertain a motion to approve them as provided by I'll the I'll make Secretary. that motion. I'll second that. Okay, motion may second it. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Uh, anything else that we need to discuss this evening? No? Okay. Being uh, there's no other business uh, to be brought before the board, I entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Okay. I'll second. Motion's made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Thank you.